Welcome to the Fast Forward Business Podcast. Today is the 12th of March 2021 and I am Justin Spencer Young. This morning on my run I was listening to a podcast and the subject matter was something that is referred to as stakeholder inclusion. This is a new age initiative to be more inclusive. So now we are interested in the feelings and well-beings of all our stakeholders in our business. It's about how can we not leave anyone out and how can we make everybody happy and how can we not offend anyone. It's this world of being making sure we don't offend. Now, for a long time, as someone who is in the finance industry, who is a teacher and a practitioner and a coach when it comes to business finance, We have always spoken about shareholders, that the business is there to provide returns to the shareholders. And the shareholder is the only one that counts. Now, I get some pushback on that from time to time because, of course, there are more stakeholders in the business. And if you just concentrate on the shareholder, well, then you might lose sight of some other important component in the business. However, This new age thinking around making sure all the stakeholders are happy is, I think, short-sighted. And I think if we just focus on returns to the shareholder and we are good at that, by being good at providing returns to the shareholder, by default, we have to take into account the required dealings with all the stakeholders. So let's list these folks. Let's be sure we identify who they are. So, of course, shareholder for me is at the top of the list. They are taking the risk. They are investing the money. If the business fails, they lose their money. No one else loses anything. If people lose their job, well, all that means is they no longer have a revenue stream. They can go and work somewhere else. All right. They haven't lost anything. But a shareholder has lost all the capital that they've invested in. So yes, people are important and it's important that we manage the business so that the people want to provide a good service to the customer and that we can retain the people in the business. And it should be a given that you manage a business in that way. But we are doing that with the intent of providing returns to the shareholder. As far as the customer is concerned, Well, yes, we exist also to service a customer, to provide value to a customer. But the intention is to be able to sell our product and service at the best possible price to the customer. Therefore, if you can get more for what you sell, then do that. Now, if your whole mindset is, well, we've got to look after the customer. Well, you can give the products away for free. The customer will be very happy. The reality is... You need to exclude customers who are not prepared to pay the price for value. And therefore, people will be excluded. So we've spoken about employees and customers. Of course, there are suppliers to the business who are critical to the business. And ensuring that the suppliers produce good product at a price that we're prepared to pay is an important part of the negotiation with those suppliers. But we are not going to pay any price to get the raw materials from our suppliers or the support that we need from uh, various service providers, etc. At some point, you have to exclude certain suppliers and service providers because their price or their quality is not acceptable. You have to say no and exclude certain stakeholders. Of course, we have to talk about government because government is a stakeholder in our business. But in reality, I want less government in my business. I want less regulation. I want less taxes. I want government to be as far away from my business as possible. I am not there to embrace more government in my business because my experience is that if we have more government in our business, we have less returns to shareholders directly proportional. I should say those two are indirectly proportional. So I don't want to pay more taxes. If I'm going to be more inclusive and lovey-dovey and keep all the stakeholders involved in my business, that may require me to give my product away for free, 
to overpay my suppliers, to pay too much taxes, to overpay my employees, and all of those things will be the, to the detriment of the shareholder. You cannot keep everyone happy all of the time. And the intention in business is to provide returns to shareholders and do that by making trade-offs with the other stakeholders in the business. So I am all for shareholder returns, not for molly coddling the stakeholders in the business. That's the end of my rant for today. And that's over and out for the Fast Forward podcast. We will see you on the far post.